It's Andy here. I'm just going to make a quick and dirty video. I've bought a few things. Uh, I bought this nice little guy. He's actually really good. It was like 35 bucks. Definitely worth its money, in my opinion. Uh, got it off Amazon, but yeah. 35 bucks. Definitely worth it. Uh, this thing, it never worked properly, and it drained batteries like crazy. So worthless. And this thing uses triple A's, which I prefer for all my devices, just to simplify things. So, that being said, uh, dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end. Uh, I've bought these parts dead ends, these these things, so half wave rectifier, full wave rectifier. I'm going to do a few experiments for my own fun, because that's what I consider fun. Uh, these are extra parts, extra parts for making my second power wall. Um, my end goal is to build seven of these. I calculated it cost me uh, somewhere around $200 per wall without batteries so all parts see look oh yeah i've been busy <laughs> in case you didn't notice so yeah these are dead ends all all this stuff is dead end i'm gonna use this and a buck boost converter that's coming in the mail i'm gonna sell this uh, i don't think i can sell this this guy which is unfortunate uh, due to the damage i built a um circuit board solder using this guy and a computer power supply um, I'll have to do a video on that eventually as well. This was a dead end. Uh, I'll probably sell it on Kijiji or something. Um, also, all these, I don't need 10 of them, so I'll try to, you know, just sell them at cost. I bought a bunch of these, um, which I'm obviously going to keep. So yeah, these, uh, these guys I'll keep for my power supply. I have this one, but, um, I think it be a lot of fun in my own way to you know do it um this this i'm gonna use with this power supply and then when my buck boost comes in then i'm gonna create a box for it all like remove all of the uh, casing i use silicone to put, attach this fan here and it worked perfectly so it turns out so when this thing's running and really hot the silicone adheres very quickly which is nice so yeah, I've got all these spare parts, and I just finished um, strapping all this together. So let's walk through it. I have one row in there right now for testing only. Okay, so this is my shunt, my shunty shunt, and I'm using uh, Cat5 wire because it only has to relay a signal, not any, like it just has to see the difference. Uh, it's not running any high voltage, so I use Cat5 cable just because I can, and I don't care. This is my 40 amp breaker, which is perfect because uh, at 900 watts, this wall can output 45 to 49 amps, which is, is dangerous for one single wall to be doing. So I put a 40 amp breaker in, and that will at least... Like, I know it can do 45 to 49, no problem, without melting down or catching fire. So 40 amps is a good safety buffer in case something happens. Ignoring the fact that each cell does not have its own fuse, which I will probably do very last. Probably one of the last things that I do, since it's going to be a button cell. Let me see if I can explain this because people have asked before. All right, see this? This is a button cell. Okay, it's going to look like a button cell, except it's going to be a piece of plastic with two metal plates on either end, and in the middle will be a piece of... Let's see, a piece of spring, just like this here. See the spring here? This will be able to handle just enough amperage before it explodes. That's still within the safety parameters of the 18650 battery. So that's what I'm going to do. It's basically, actually, I should just show it. It's obviously not going to be this, but, you know, it's, it's a tight fit but it, will, it would basically sit in there between the two, so I'd have to do a little bit of finicking on every single one of them, but it would be a lot better. 
So yeah, it would basically be like, like this but smaller and about that same thickness and it would be shoved in there. And go in between the two. I haven't done this yet, so please forgive. I don't know if this is even smart to do because this is a normal button cell. Actually, it's just going in series. So. Yeah, so it, it can fit, just, I don't know, if it damages it. But whatever, doesn't matter. See, look how safe this system is. Huzzah. All right, uh, moving on. Okay, so we have our 40 amp breaker. We've done the tests. I know that this is the right breaker that I want. Maybe even 35 I'd be happier with, but 40 is, is good. This is my 7S 50 amp BMS. Works great. So you cleaned it all up. I tied directly into the tops because it was very easy to do it that way. The way I mounted this BMS was I used the brackets for a computer case uh, to hold the motherboard up. Wish you could see that better. And then I used metal plates. I used tin snips to cut out little notches. And this is just, this is this. This is from a computer power supply. And I just cut it up with tin snips to make these little holding brackets to hold these clips in place, which was a little difficult to do. But I would recommend that, as you can see. And then I also did a very similar thing with this guy. See, he's got a screw there, screw there, and then one over here. And it's just bent pieces of metal with uh, screws in them. I removed the back plate of this guy so I had room for the screws, the heads of the screws poking up. And uh, yeah, it's, it's held in there really strong. This is the charge wire. It's going to this guy. This is the 4 amp variant off eBay. This is the old one. This is the 2 amp. That's the 4 amp. So you can see the size difference. It's about the same thickness, but the 4 amp is a little bit longer and a little bit wider. Green at red light means charging. Green light means fully charged. All right, let's look. It's got a green light, so we're at 28.57 through the BMS, no good. No good, no good between there. With this type of charger, it's self-designed to have its full, its own safety start and cutoffs. So it can go directly to the negative or maybe to the shunt first, I don't know. Yeah, I'd want it right here. This power supply is now working just fine. I disconnected this. I'm at 29.4 volts. As soon as I remove this guy, it will it will go to 28.4. So I, I'll figure that out later. But anyways, that's just temporary. This design is temporary. If I like this guy, I'll probably do something crazy. Maybe I'll buy a proper connector off eBay. Proper one of these that I can connect much thicker, stronger wires too, because I'm sure these wires are too small. These small screws holding this entire board together, you can see plywood and then drywall, pretty thick just in case. This drywall can withstand a ton. All right, so these are the screws I'm using. They just barely perfectly work. You could do even thinner plywood than this and that would probably be more than sufficient uh, it's more difficult to deal with the um, quarter inch I think it, this is half inch maybe the next is quarter inch I'm not sure you yeah, don't quote me on it but the thinnest plywood you can get would still be more than sufficient to withstand any initial fire that might occur because uh, this plastic it doesn't really like to burn and then the rest is metal, and then like at most the um, the insulation for the wires would maybe melt. I th I'm pretty sure this is fire resistant. This stuff here is absolutely fire resistant. I couldn't even properly solder 
this one yeah it's heavy duty as well so I uh, oop grot it a bit and I put a ton of liquid tape everywhere just to be safe and I'm probably gonna put even more safety stuff down I got these hooked up here very thick wires for the negative side uh, but doesn't matter because this is still going to be a choke point right here and this is going to warm up but if we're below 40 amps I'm not concerned whatsoever so yeah and I'm going to be testing with these from now on and I'm going to keep my, my nice ones these are my nice ones these are the higher milliamp hour ones and these are the lower ones so I'm going to use these I still have these. These are garbage. They're not. They have to be fully ripped apart. I don't have any time for that. These are, there are very few of them that need to be repaired. It's almost not even worth it. And then there's these up here, which, you know, once I get a tack welder, I'll solve that. A change I would make in this design is I would remove one whole row of these so that I could fit this right on the board. And basically, it's a little annoying, but actually, um, if you have less than seven walls, it's worth it just to buy these guys. So one brick per wall. But as soon as you get to seven, there's a 25 amp uh, big box. It's a giant power supply. It's, it's twice as high as this guy here, but probably only goes to here. And it's a 25 amp charger for for 7s 18650s on eBay and it's about the same price or cheaper than seven of these guys so uh, it's worth it because and it's like one amp more so it'd be better to have just one giant box charging seven of these walls than have seven of these but that would be up to the customer right or the individual they'd have to decide do I want something that's 100% modular, or do I want just a simplified one giant box hooked up to the entire power wall feeding it? I think this is safer to have one of these per wall, but it's a little annoying because then you have all these cords. You have seven of these cords going to, you know, one source. You could probably jury rig the crap out of it, put it into like some kind of mini fuse panel or something. The only thing I regret not putting in is a um, a master kill switch right here because this breaker does not proper it's not a switch fully there is still some kind of flow through here which is frustrating I don't quite like this here um, but it is what it is it's um, it's probably not going to change I don't like that though I like this design where I have bolts and I'm using these uh, terminals like like this. These are the terminals I'm using. Don't know where I got them from. So, anyways, that's what it is. So this is negative and this is positive. Running up. And yeah. So yeah, big fat heavy cables. Works great. Uh, hopefully I'll make another video soon to where I'll have everything plugged in and running. Hope you like the video. It's a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. Tell me what you think. Let me know what you're up to. Uh, I'd greatly appreciate it. As all, After all, this is a community effort. It's not a bunch of greedy corporations trying to drown us out in bills and debt. So, anyways. Thanks for everything, guys. Thanks for your comments and subscriptions and uh, your likes. I really appreciate that. Uh, have a great day. Bye.